hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy snowflake so keep watching for the pattern i'm using two ply yarn 0.5 mm crochet hook we are going to start the pattern with a magic ring Chain 3, which is counted as 1 double crochet, chain 1, make 11 double crochet in the ring with chain 1 in between, complete the row, I'll see you guys in the end. So I have completed my row, we are going to make a slip stitch in the third chain. In this row we have a total of 12 double crochet stitches including chain 3 and 12 chain 1 space. Tighten up the ring. First row is completed. Chain 3 for the next row which is counted as 1 double crochet. Chain 1. Chain 3, make a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, chain 1, make 1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Chain 1, chain 3, make a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, chain 1, make 1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch, repeat this pattern all around, I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see this is the end of the row, make a slip stitch in the third chain. Second row is completed. Chain 3 for the next row. Chain 3. Chain 3 again. We are going to make a picot, make a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Chain 3, make 1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. We are going to repeat one more time, chain 3, chain 3 again. Make a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, chain 3, make 1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. So repeat this pattern all around, I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see I have completed my row, now we are going to make a slip stitch in the third chain. Third row is completed. Chain 3 for the next row. Chain 10. Make 1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Chain 10. Chain 
1 double crochet in the next double crochet stitch so repeat this pattern all around i'll see you guys in the end as you can see i have completed my row make a slip stitch in the third chain row 4 is completed this is the last row we are going to chain 1 make one single crochet in the same stitch in the next space we are going to make 6 single crochet Chain 5 Make a slip stitch in the front loop of the previous stitch Make 6 single crochet in the same space One single crochet, double crochet stitch. In the next space, make five single crochet. Chain two. Chain 5 Make a slip stitch in the 5th chain from the hook We have a first pico Now we are going to chain 8 Make a slip stitch in the 8th chain from the hook. This is our second pico. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the 5th chain from the hook. We have completed 3 picots. Now we are going to make a slip stitch in the 1st pico. And make slip stitches in the next two chain. So this is how it looks like. Make five single crochet in the same space. One single crochet in double crochet stitch. We need to repeat this pattern. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see, I have completed my row. We are going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So a beautiful pattern is completed. I hope you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching.